okay good morning dear students <coughs> today we will learn a new topic that is the ron scheme this is very important method for finding the linearly independent and dependent set of function basically ron scheme is a process to calculate the uh dependency and independency to calculate the behavior of the function uh the ronskin is defined as the ronskin of n function suppose that we have n function like this suppose that we have n function y1 y2 and yn and the ronskin of the n function is denoted by wx or w of y1 y2 and so on yn it is equal to a value of a determinant and the determinant is arranged such as y1 y2 and dot dot yn in first row in second row y1 dash y2 dash and dot dot yn dash dash means one time differentiation of the first row similarly in third row y double dash one y two double dash and so on y n double dash it means second time derivative and the last row so on the last row is y one n minus one n minus one at time differentiation of y one n minus one at time differentiation of y two and similarly n minus one at time differentiation of y n this is the determinant of n n by n uh order <clears throat> according the value of this determinant we can easily calculate the dependency and independency uh behavior of the set of the functions <clears throat> basically linearly independent and dependent set of functions are defined such as suppose that we have n function y1 y2 y3 and so on yn suppose that we have n function then <coughs> a linear equation c1 y1 c2 y2 c3 y3 plus dot dot so on c uh, cn yn equal to 0 okay if we can arrange if we we arrange the all the function in the form of this equation and and all the constants which are c1 c2 and cn c uh, c2 c3 and cn if all c1 equal to c2 c3 and dot dot so on cn equal to 0 if all the constants are zero then always the functions are linearly independent if at least one of them is not equal to zero if at least one of one of cn cn means if at least one of c1 c2 and cn at least one of them is not equal to zero then the functions are linearly dependent basically this is the process for finding the linearly dependent and independent independency of the set of the vectors <clears throat> but this is a complication complicated process according the according the behavior of ronskin or according the uh, application of ronskin if this determinant after solving this determinant if we have the value of the determinant equal to 0 then always the all the functions are linearly independent uh, sorry linearly dependent if determinant value is not equal to 0 then the functions are 
linearly independent. This is a very simple process for calculating the linearly dependency and independency of the set of the vectors. <coughs> okay students, in our next lecture we will solve some example of Ronskin which are related to uh, the linearly independent and dependency of the set of the function. Okay. Thank you.